Hey everybody, this is Kasu and welcome to Kanga Week Day 5. Today we'll be going through the Kanga Structure mods. Uh, these Kanga Structures actually give the game much more of a primitive feel, or rather not really primitive, but more of a medieval feel to the game as you can see from the gate behind, the, the, the watchtower too and everything. And also allows you to make more customization for the house you want as shown in these five pavers, or right, these five dirt pavements here. Or rather five pavements, sorry. And without further ado, let's begin. So first things first, this structure here, the Carpenter's Workbench, is the core of the entire mod. Uh, is to make all these pavements and also to make all of these structures. However, for the pavement, there is an additional way to make uh, to make it too. So, the Carpenter's Workbench is crafted inside your inventory as shown here. Just need the wood and you will craft this. And you will be shown all of these uh, materials, all of these building materials, which is not a lot, but uh, you have to make plenty of it. Now, up next is these. These are the nine different uh, dirt, or rather nine different pavement uh, textures that you can decorate your house or decorate your base with. For the dirt, there are five different uh, pavement textures as shown here. To switch between the textures, all you need to do is hold E and go press ground type and you can show all of the uh, five. Even though they said six, but for some, for some reason I don't really understand what's the difference between grass and dynamic grass as I show here, as there's not much difference. So uh, I'll only count it as five. Also, you can raise the dirt pavement or you can lower the dirt pavement as and how you like. And lastly, you can check the underground of this dirt pavement so that you can put in your wires and stuff so you can hide your wires and stuff so it's not shown outside and make your base look ugly. Then for the wooden pavement, which is the second tier, there's only one wooden pavement. However, if you make the wooden pavement, you can make all of the uh, previous lower tier pavements, for example, like gravel, sandy gravel, all the stuff that I've shown you before. And lastly is stone pavement. Stone pavement is uh, can be crafted into paving stone, cobblestone, and stepping stone, as shown here. Then also same with the wood, they can be it also can be crafted into the lower dirt or the wooden uh, lower tier pavements like the dirt or the wooden pavement. Now, where do you craft all this stuff? For the wooden and the stone pavement, it can be crafted inside the carpenter's workbench as shown here. The dirt pavement can also be crafted in the carpenter's workbench. However, it also can be crafted inside your inventory, like so. But let's say like, uh, do you want to upgrade or rather you want to get a wooden pavement and you look through the crafting recipe and you realize oh you require dirt pave a uh, dirt paver so i have to pick it up put it inside and craft it again in order to make it the wood paver and for stone paver you have to put pick up the wooden paver put inside the uh carpenter's workbench and add in stone to make into a stone paver and if i think myself wow that is very troublesome but don't worry, this is where this item here comes in handy. This is the Stone Builder's Hammer. So the Stone Builder's Hammer, when building it, if you look, for example, at this dirt pavement, a pop-up on the left, which is a bit fady, but you can uh, somewhat see it, states that the landscape paper can be upgraded in place by hitting it with a Builder's Hammer, providing that you have the resources needed to upgrade it. And in this case, you need 50 wood to upgrade it. So as shown here, the ground type only has six choices, which are all the uh, tier one or the dirt choices. Now, if I'm just gonna slap it a little bit, it... done. Now it is upgraded to the wooden paver and it has access to planks and all the others. And similar to how uh, you upgrade dirt into wood, you can do it the same with stone, as shown here. And now it's upgraded to stone pavement. As shown previously, stone pavement has all this tree and literally all the rest of the pavement. So you don't have to pick it up and put inside the 
Carpenter's Workbench, you can just take a hammer and slap it with the uh, required resources. If you don't, it'll probably just damage it. Now, on to the uh, next part of the mod is uh, these stuff. These are the fences. These fences, honestly speaking, are much more nicer compared to the fences that we have in the game. As I'm going to show you now, I put them all under these small scale fences. I'm just going to drag them all onto my hotbar. Give me a moment. So how do these fences, how does these fences look like? Well, first up is uh, this. This is the normal fence. As you can tell, it's very modern looking. And you can change their variants. Like so, like you want to switch to this kind, or you want to switch to the default kind, or you want to switch to the railings kind. So yeah, you it's very free and you can basically choose however you want. Then next up is this. This is the fence gate. The fence gate, obviously similar. You there's three different variants you can pick from: railings, pickets, and the default one. And with the rail, uh, with the fence gate railing, obviously you can have gates. Unfortunately, for the wooden gate, you can only have one style, which is this style. And next up for the walls, uh, you have this, the three meter tall wooden fence. And similar, uh, you can choose which uh, which type you want, like this kind or this kind. So you might think to yourself, oh wow, that's a bit tall for like this kind of fence gate frame. Uh, don't worry, there is this particular fence gate frame which fits the same height. And you there is obviously if there's a gate there is a rather if there's a gateway there is a gate you can fix with it. And with this gate, same same you can just open close and stuff like that. And one last thing to note is that we you do have one last gate which is a tall gate and you can't customize it it is a fixed gate but you might think wow that looks ugly why would i ever use that well you can switch it to the extended frame and it'll look like that and yeah that is it for the uh, internal fences uh to make your house or base look nice clean and basically very uh also stylized next up is the main outer fences so to go through this one by one uh it's gonna be a bit confusing because i'm confused by it so hopefully you guys actually are more smart in terms of in this guy in this case now uh when it comes to the structures it's going to be a bit complicated like for example this is not one big structure this is a multitude of structures uh placed together where first up is uh this particular structure the double side palisade uh like the palisade double gate frame which snaps with this big gate and that top part actually is this part here, which I'll craft now. And uh, you must be a bit careful because the snap point is sometimes a bit wonky. Yeah, it's a bit off. Like honestly speaking, <laughs> honestly speaking, it's actually a bit off. And yeah, this is how you fix up the uh, watchtower, depending on which direction you are showing, to be honest. And honestly speaking, I have very little clue on how to make this look nice or work well. But uh, from my understanding, you might think, okay, so how do I climb up here? Well, this is where these ladders come to play, if I can fucking put them down. Apparently not like as you can tell this mod there's like th uh, this mod has a correct way to put stuff down however i do not know uh the aforementioned correct way as it's the snapping is a bit off like i i, I don't understand it but uh, i do have a better example here as 
this part is actually the palisade stairs and this is actually the palisade landing which is this one here then uh this part is part of the double gate tower or uh, uh, rather the sorry not double gate tower the part of the uh palisade double gate frame then up here onwards is the tower and if i'm correct that you should be able to put a yes you should have, you should be able to put something here but i have no clue actually hold on maybe i do have a short to go away okay never mind i still have no clue yep and if you're able to find that mysterious platform that you can put here you can climb up to this tower and basically become a skyrim white run guard and uh these walls here are actually not it doesn't come with it these are actually crafted and placed these walls can be placed onto the scaffolding or the second layer which i'm going to show later too so for the scaffolding i'm going to show you the walls there are a variety of walls there are like as you can tell there is this diagonally up wall there is this normal standard wall there is these half walls and yeah that's for the big tower now for the not big gate now for the smaller gate uh it's as you know this is the single gate frame and this is the single small single gate which you can go through obviously then up here uh these are these walls are actually not like you know floating they are actually oh shit they are actually uh let's on to this palisade walkway corner which requires a palisade scaffolding below it so walkways requires a scaffolding below it, give, giving them a second layer so to speak uh to walk up to and uh yeah and lastly is these uh so this is the vanilla games cannon which is humongous and this is the palisade cannon support with the cannon itself this cannon is only craftable in the carpenter's workbench so uh do not waste your material and think oh okay uh i this is just cannon i'm just gonna make the normal cannon nope uh th this cannon is too big for this and it oh, this cannon here actually snaps onto like snaps onto the uh the as you can tell it you can't really put it anywhere except here so there's a snap point for it and outside here is this wall this wall or rather this palisade window wall has a window where you can open the shutter and the cannon will actually be pointed out and you want to close it same way so it's very similar to like uh the pirate ships and stuff like that now let's fire this cannon just for fun and there we go however uh there is a something that i want to mention is that um there, there just when i was testing this mod out uh the cannon actually broke the structure which i have no idea how so may or may not be about and yeah that's about wraps it up uh this basically is a structure or rather a mod to give uh whoever is playing kenga mods a new way to create a structure and a new way to make a more medieval looking base and with that i have come to the end of this uh, mod showcase or mod tutorial uh, hopefully you guys are able to make a way better and nicer looking structures and solve some problems that i couldn't solve uh in this mod tutorial as i've tried multitude of things but unfortunately i am unable to try uh, to fix it and i hope the best for you now Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you on day 6 of Kenga Mod Week. Bye!